Hey guys, my name is Jacob Jolibois. I'm an internet marketer and a photographer. Being as how I'm also involved in various forms of ministry, I figured today we would take a look at how you can build your own mobile app for your church or ministry without any coding experience at all. I know the idea of coding is a little bit daunting to me, and I'm sure that it is for some of you as well. So we're going to try to get around that by looking at three platforms. First, BuzzTouch. Second is Sencha, and the third is Infinite Monkeys. Now these platforms will allow us to visually code, so to speak, which is a lot more my style. This will allow us to bring in podcasts, scripture readings, photos from mission trips, and other assortment of media. That way you can keep your community and your church engaged and on the same page. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first site that I took a look at was buzztouch.com. The site layout wasn't my favorite, but I went ahead and clicked on the Get Started button anyway, where I went and filled out a contact form, confirmed my email address, and then, of course, had to log in. The user experience was a little archaic, but I went ahead and stuck with it for a while just to see what they had to offer. When I got into the site, I realized that I had to pay. At least, I think I had to pay. I'm not really sure. It was kind of hard to tell. I had a hard time finding out where to go in the site, and it was obviously built for computer programmers. It just wasn't quite easy enough for small businesses. After a little while, I got frustrated and finally decided to move on to my second site called Sencha. This seemed like an excellent platform. It's used by 50% of the Fortune 100 companies. I really enjoyed their illustrated promo video. However, after watching it for a little while, it was definitely clear that Sencha is a tool for developers and programmers and in this large corporate setting. It wasn't uh, useful for ministries or small businesses like myself. Now we get to take a look at my platform of choice, Infinite Monkeys. Infinite Monkeys captured my attention when I realized that small businesses like me were using this app for things like restaurants, bands, real estate, nonprofits, a host of other ideas. I went ahead and typed in the name of my app and clicked the Get Started button and went ahead and started creating. I entered what Infinite Monkeys has branded as the machine, where I found a really simple user interface and some helpful videos along the way to guide me through. In about 10 minutes or so, I put together the basic look and feel of my app and had chosen some web content that I wanted to pull in. It's really neat. I was also was able to pull in some integrations for small businesses like RSS feeds, music, photos, that sort of thing. I added my church blog in, some podcasts, Twitter feeds, scripture readings, recommended music, uh, photos from recent mission trips. There was plenty of room for creativity and custom design. When I was ready to preview my app, I simply sent a text message to my phone and previewed it on my browser. Now the final steps of the process was just as easy. I was able to plug in some information about the app so that it could be published in the App Store. And the best part about it, I could do it all for free. So if you're looking for any sort of application that will help you build a mobile app for either your church or your ministry, take my advice and go use Infinite Monkeys. In order to get started, you can go to the website monk.ee. That's M-O-N-K.ee. Thanks for watching, guys.